Well, you know, U.S. Marines are tough mentally and physically. Now a Marine is helping others use his training to help them combat family holiday dinners. Marine Eric Brittmeyer says his training to develop mental toughness and emotional intelligence helps him all kind with all kinds of real life situations like at the gym, the grocery store, or dealing with difficult family members during the holidays. We all have to do that. Yeah. He's sharing his <laughs> advice in his book, The Emotional Marine, filled with 68 ways to make anyone, he says, instantly like you. Eric is with us now to explain how his training can help us. And, and honestly, you were making friends in the green room, so people do like, really like you. I pay yeah. them well to just be nice to me. <laughs> is yeah. that the secret? That's the secret. Okay. That and vodka it works very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, that's, and that's your book in a nutshell. <laughs> that's <laughs> it, yeah. It's on Amazon. Buy a copy. <laughs> so tell us what you write about it and really dealing with stressful situations in real life scenarios. Yeah, so I work with lots of salespeople. I train them on mental toughness, and really it's all about emotional control. And as humans, we're horrible controlling emotion. So what a lot of people don't realize is every interaction you have with somebody, you leave that interaction feeling one of five different emotions. Happy, sad, angry, fearful, or shameful. You're an emotional state of mind. Mm -hmm. So when you don't know you're getting emotional, you react differently than you would if you were thinking logically. The whole thing about the holidays, the problem is a lot of times we're put in situations with family members who trigger us. Mm. They say these things that just fire us up. We don't even know we're getting fired up, but we respond emotionally. It yeah. ends up being a big big dinner brawl, unfortunately. Yeah, biting so, your tongue, sweating a little bit. You're like, <laughs> yeah. come on. Exactly. And do, so don't respond right away. Like, take a beat to react, right? Absolutely. So when you were, like, a knee-jerk reaction is going to be an emotion-based reaction, which is going to translate into something not good. Right. So when you respond, you have a chance to kind of digest it and, and, and approach that more logically. And it's about preparing for these situations. It's going into these mentally preparing. You know, you have the Cousinettis of the world who are going to show up and say right. crazy things and do not-so things. Be prepared for that so you're not caught off guard. So there are some people that will, you know, they say don't talk about politics or religion. Some people will bring that up at, mm -hmm. at the dinner table mm -hmm. at Thanksgiving and then just keep at it. So how do you kind of, do you walk away? You have you to do? be, you have to be prepared. So it's under, the, the biggest bit of advice I would give is know your triggers. Okay. So if your triggers are politics, the minute it comes up, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, Got to go. Anybody want seconds of turkey? You have to understand the triggers so you can mentally prepare for it. So when you're put in the situation, you've already had a chance to kind of go through this. And we call it systematic desensitization. You systematically desensitize your brain to whatever it is that's going to trigger you. You know what's coming, so you're ready for it. Absolutely. Okay. Now, one of the tips you have here is they suspend their disbeliefs. What does that mean? A long time ago, back in the ice ages, we used to be able to communicate with people and we used to be able to hear an opposing point of view. We what? live in the. Can you believe that? I know. <laughs> like cavemen out beating people over the head. We don't do it anymore. And yet. <laughs> exactly. Just like being married. <laughs> so, in this day and age, nobody can have an opposing point of view. So, you right. believe what you believe, I believe what I believe. If I come at you with any type of fact that conflicts with the belief you have, it automatically defaults to some sort of defense mechanism. Right. You don't want to hear what I have to say because you don't like what I have to say. Suspending a disbelief is the ability to say, you know what, I respect what you think. Let me hear you out. I might still disagree with you at the end of the day. I probably will. But at least I'm going to hear you. I'm going to listen to what you say. We're horrible listeners. Yeah. We need to be better at that, I think. We do. Men do especially. Yes. You ladies got it down. Us guys. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not everybody. Okay, and you say just stay calm in those volatile situations, too. Things can get volatile very quickly, yeah. especially if you have lots of pent-up aggression. And I think a lot of people go into these holiday dinners knowing, oh, he's going to be there. And they get prepped up for it. It's like they're, like, tailgating. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, he's going to say something. I'm going to fire it up. Right. Then before you know it, somebody says something, you throw a little bit of alcohol on top of it. Right. That's a, that's a horrible combination right there. It's going to create a volatile situation. Yeah. Is, is a real trick just sort of taking a mental deep breath? like a pause button for you before you react or before you get overwhelmed, right? It is. I think there was a Seinfeld episode. It was like, serenity now, right? Remember that? <laughs> yeah. So it is that. And it really, it's all about preparation. That's what we learn in the military. You prepare for every single thing you do. It's no different than a holiday dinner. I'm not saying go in there with camouflage on and low crawl in right. with a Kevlar helmet. <laughs> Although that would be quite an entry. That would be yes. awesome, yeah. I, you wouldn't be invited back for a whole Thanksgiving. Hey, <laughs> Christmas so, plans yeah. are wide open this year, but hey. No, but you have to <laughs> mentally prepare for that to know that people are probably going to say things that you're not going to be happy with right. and just know when that happens 
got to go. And just you have the plan, whatever it is. Ooh, M&Ms, I love M&Ms, whatever it is. It's just <laughs> something to get yourself out of the situation so you don't create it, make it even worse. I love it. I want to read the book now. But I wish that we could bottle your energy and put it in that book. It's, it's for sale in, in the green room, okay. actually. It's next to the apples. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for being I take here. IOUs. <laughs> I look for more advice in Eric Rittmeyer's book, The Emotional Marine. It is in stores and online right now, and apparently in our green room as well. Just in time for those holiday get-togethers.